Hello everyone, Merry Christmas to you all. I hope you treat yourself this year. This Sumiko water was part of my Christmas haul. As we already know from the name, there's water on the screen inside this device. Sumiko water is similar to other Sumiko Grashi virtual pets before this one. You can watch the previous video, I put the link up here. But why there's water inside, there's only one way to find out. Oh, I'm so exciting, I couldn't wait to play with it. So let's skip this manual for now and let's unbox real quick. We will get started. Everything is in Japanese, so Google Lens is your friend, unless you understand Japanese. Here you can see that the water doesn't cover the whole screen. You have to tilt it upside down to see it. There you go. The water is probably half the screen and sits in the bottom. You will need three AAA batteries to make it work. I personally use rechargeable ones because it's more sustainable and it lasts longer as well. Now, let's have a closer look on the design of this model. You can remove this faceplate and flip it over to change to different color. You have the pink one like this. Now let's put it on and see how it looks like. Beautiful. The other color is blue. Look, I like this one better. If you turn to the back, there's tapioca face on the speaker. On the top, you can attach lanyard here. I really like this teal green color and the design that mimics a perfume bottle. It's very unique but kind of too big to my likings. What do you think? Leave me a comment down below. It seems like all the characters can live on both worlds, land and water. When you tilt it upside down, you will see the water will begin to cover the screen like this. And there's this cute animation of Shirokuma being transported underwater. I will try it on Tokage and see what happens. Here is the animation. Now it's swimming underwater. How cute. Let's try it on Tonkatsu and see what happens. Oh, because Tonkatsu is fried pork, it gets fried with oil instead. That is very creative and interesting. I like it. Okay, we need to set up the date and time. Use these shell buttons on the top left and right corner to select. Once you select it, press the pink button to set it up. Same goes with the clock. Press the round button when you're done. I love Sumiko because you don't need to raise them, but you still need to feed them. So you need to click this icon, you get this unlimited bread to feed them so you don't need to buy food in the shop. This is how you pet them. Click on the hand icon to increase their happiness level. That's how you get these accessories for each character. Let me demonstrate it quickly. Press this icon. There you go and keep pressing the shell button until it's happy here's where you can find the accessories i will put one on shirokuma he's so cute next this is how you clean the room when it gets too dusty tilt it upside down and start shaking until it's all clean and free of dust. Just like this. Let me demonstrate it. This is my Shirokuma room. It's very dirty. Start shaking when you see this icon. I don't know how long you have to shake. You just need to hear that little beep sound. All clean! When Sumiko gets dirty, we give them bath by tilting it upside down as well and press the shell button until they're all clean. 
Now tilt it back up and it's all clean. Let me try on Shirokuma. To go outside the house, you press on the star button and you will see this little menu out here where you can go on your settings, you can set the date and time, you can also adjust your brightness level here. Here's how you adjust the volume. Here's how you can put the passcode to get special characters. You can find it on the website online where uh, Takara Tomi posts different password every month. I will link it in the description if I can find the website. There are almost a total of 140 items and different characters to find. You can find them when you win on the games, petting them and also go on Sumiko Hunt. This is the market where you can buy your Sumiko basic necessities. You can buy tools to catch your Sumikos, food, drinks, and snacks. This icon is like Sumiko hunting. This is where you can use all the tools that you bought to catch the Sumiko. Once you turn it upside down like this, you will be transported to outdoor area where you can play a little game of hide and seek with your Sumiko. And it's always huh? raining and it's always hiding under this tree. There are six different games where you can play and earn coins for your Sumikos. Most of the games you will be required to turn the device upside down and shake as well as pressing the buttons. They're very interactive. Since this is my first go, I am very very bad at this game. Let me know if you have any tips and tricks to win this game. This is me trying to figure out what's going on. And then I figured out that you need to stand the device in a flat surface. Then you can start playing. And I still lost. <laughs> You can also go outside the house and turn the device upside down like this and it will change into underwater. So then you can go around different places but you cannot enter. To enter you have to tilt it back. So you have to go back to the dry land, no underwater. There you go. Let's try one more time. When I press the button, it's asking me to turn it back. I think that's pretty much it. You just need to collect all the items and all the characters on this device. So what do you think? Have I convinced you to buy it? 